Greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play War Song with me, Artegra Omega. What were we going to do over here? That seems like a good start. Garleon should hit level 5 sometime in this mission because he has a load of... Well, actually, maybe not. He's going to run out of horses. I was going to say he can pick apart the royal soldiers that are after these two fighters, but I'm not convinced he's going to have any horsemen left because he's going to get bombarded by more spells before that happens. Uh, you stay where you are. Treat. Tyberon, your people are very greedy. Take up the precious next to Garrett spot. Try my best to sort out this mess. Garrett's archers are getting left behind because he always gets attacked last. Now we're just going to waste the movement of these guys so the AI doesn't move them. Alright, there we go. That was not smart, was it? One step to the left, eh? I know who you were taught by. When you're stuck in these ruins, there's only a few people who could possibly be your teacher. Mortimus, Naxos, Greater Slime. Seems odd that Mortimus has employed so many chief commanders. Logically speaking, you would have thought there's only one chief commander. Wait, this isn't Naxos. It's Mortimus. Why didn't Mortimus make some golems? They look like pretty strong enemies. Also, two wizards is not going to be fun. Sixteen MP. That's two spells or four spells, I don't know what they cast. The other bad side of uh, the other bad thing about this is that I can't really attack with anyone unless I'm sure any general. Unless I'm sure it's going to be a clean kill. By which I mean a kill where I don't take much damage in return. It's not a bad idea to try and hit these guys with a few spells, so they have to treat instead of cast. Okay, that's one guy treating. That's good. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, because say if Duke Carleon fought a general here and killed him, but was left on 4 HP, he might just die to two spells. So we do have to be... You can't just finish him. Never mind. We do have to be a little considerate of that. We can probably still finish this guy. I'm not going to send Garrett in, even though Garrett would never take a point of damage from a fighter. I'm just not going to take the risk. I don't need to. Uh, 
Uh, anyone injured? Wait, no one can even stand next to Garrett. Can you move up? Not really. It's about as good as that gets. Just try your best to all squeeze in. Should only be one spell though. Giving Carly on the wand really paid off there then, because that instead of being three damage and two damage would have been two and one. Which wouldn't have prevented any spell casting. That's what I like to see. Fight to the bitter end. That's what I like to see. Killing the enemies that's favoured against you. Without missing a single shot. The stat bonuses of a fighter just can't compare to third level classes. I'm afraid he is a relic of the past. Also, I like the order of the AI. There is a set order in which the generals will act, and they will never deviate from this order. Which means the spellcaster, who could have weakened all of our forces, acts after the attack. They let fighter attack, then they weaken with spells. It's not the best strategy I've ever seen. You're not going to cast? Why not? Can you not reach? Maybe he can't reach. Remember, enemy generals will only cast spells directly on top of a friendly general. He won't cast it here or here so that the AoE hits him. He has to cast it here or here. He might actually be out of range from here to here. Well, that worked out rather well. How much magic you got left? You got loads. Wait, that's heal. I made that mistake before. Officially better at the game now. I spot that mistake. You're level 5 yet, nearly. Either I've completely misunderstood what the orb does. My god, look at that AoE. I thought the orb made everything half cost. Am I wrong? Is that a different item? No, it does make everything half cost. It just doesn't say it does. I was only charged 4 MP for that, even though it said 8 in the menu. Okay. God, that AoE on Tornado, though, now that she's level 6. I guess 6 is the really the upgrade, or not 5. I don't remember it being that big. One level ago. Still, that was a thing of beauty. It did so much damage, and it isn't even boosted by the wand anymore. The wand was boosting its damage before. Carleon, you're actually going to have to kill this guy yourself, right? I'll do this so that Garrett doesn't accidentally kill him for you. Creep forwards is a go. Keeping these guys in treat range isn't really solving the problem. Eating the spells so that they permanently run out of MP would probably fix the problem better, if we're being honest. But I like this. It's buying us time. I 
And looking at the stats of Mortimus, I don't think we need to save our magic for him. No offence, Mortimus. But... Stat-wise... He's not that impressive. Yes, I recommend a brief reshuffle. Beautiful. Ah, uh, you as well. That formation is disgusting. What are you doing? And wait. If this goes disastrously, Garrett can heal him, but it shouldn't. Okay. But this should be a very comfortable kill. You know what, Garrett? Just you get in on this action as well. Everyone chuck spells at these guys. Have some of that. Good chance for Mina to move forwards here. Wow, Mina's got a sprinting shoes on. Everyone looks pretty, pretty nimble though compared to this giant Lapras. Rather brave to put those archers at the front there, Garrett. I like the way that when these guys attack, they have red in their visors. They look sort of robotic. They remind me of something out of Tron, but I can't remember what it's called. I was trying to remember, I failed. I like how the ability to cast magic arrows, summon bolts of lightning, create four tornadoes out of nowhere inside a building. All of these things are collectively being used as suppressing fire. Nothing else. Uh, if we go there, we can hit much, much better. Dance, wind, dance. Expand and dance some more. Level up for Mina. She wasn't even trying. Is that all you have left, Carleon? I think so. Ah, we can run a test by looking at his heal spell. Has it got bigger? Yes, it has. Okay. Five is the magic number, not six. Congratulations, everyone. We made it. All of my party members are now maxed out. In that case, I don't care who gets the experience anymore. You tell him, Garrett. King Garrett has had enough of this. Everybody lurch forwards. I've got to manually help out these monks or they're never going to find their way. There you go, chaps. It's alright. One spell gonna come our way. 
and one treat going to be happening over the wall. Okay, they have the Blizzard spell, which is not as powerful as Summon Dragons or Tornado. I don't think any enemy has Tornado. Maybe, maybe Mortimus, but I don't think so. Do it that way, we can kill an archer. It's satisfying. We gotta keep moving. We can't just sit here and eat spells to the end of time. And these only cost four mana. Right, push forwards, everyone. We've not got time for this. Just help the rest of the monks. They're not the brightest, alright? Hey, this guy has not given up the cafeteria. Once we get to the corner in the bottom right, we can take the time to actually heal up our units if we want. I guess we should be out of range of the wizards. You see what I mean though, if I wasn't so cautious with fighting generals and stuff, I could send Garrett in to fight, say, that chief commander. Wait, Garrett only took one point of damage. Carlion. It's realistic that Carlion could have fought that guy. Been knocked down to 6 HP, but killed him. Which you would say is a good outcome. And then following that, gets hit by two blizzards and dies. I'm casting this purely because I don't want two blizzards to come my way. It seems we can comfortably take one more blizzard. But I'm not risking to. Everybody just get through. Like we said, they won't be able to cast spells on us if the generals are out of range. So this, this is probably in range, but he's going to have to treat. Not sure this guy's in range of anyone, so there might be no spells this turn. And I don't know if they're going to chase us into the bottom right. They probably will. Okay, you can chase me wherever you like, Bishop. You're out of magic. Alright, team, here's the plan. We're all going to take a quick nap in this corner. Then we're going to push up and take the cafeteria. Then we're going to eat lunch. Then we're going to storm the rest of the keep. But all that is going to happen in the next video. And now I have to talk very slowly whilst this turn plays out. 
because I can't pause after I pressed end turn and during the enemy's phase. Which means if I end the video you will miss incredible action like Bishop moving to the right. And I can't have you miss that, can I? So in fairness, to make sure you see all the action, like this, tense action, here it is, look. I'm gonna wait before I terminate the video. Until now. Hopefully you'll join me for that, then I shall. I'll see you then.